In this video, I'm gonna challenge myself to take 10 cool, popular, and common tech items and turn them into Lego. Let's go. The first thing on my list is a smartphone. And an actual tech YouTuber with 2 million subscribers told me to build the iPhone 15, which drops later this year. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna start by building the outside of the phone using four slope pieces and a bunch of plates. And I did a simple trick where I left a few studs out for volume buttons. Then I'm gonna build the screen of the phone using several tiny plates. And finally, every iPhone needs apps. So I went in my bin and grabbed a bunch of 2x2 two two plates in different colors, and now we can add them to the phone screen. Okay, we got Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, Discord, Spotify, and uh, what the heck, why is the screen frozen? It's not working. <sighs> Another YouTuber told me to build AirPods. This is perfect because I actually own a pair of these so we can use it for reference. If I take two of these paddle accessories that belong to minifigs and attach a white minifig head to each one, then I think we've successfully built a pair of AirPods. So now we can Bluetooth connect them to my iPhone and I can listen to some fire music. Wow, it actually fits really well in my ear too. Another very techy thing is virtual reality. So I'm gonna attempt to build a pair of Lego VR headsets. And to make this work like an actual pair, I made an empty slot where you can put a phone that way when you wear it you can actually see things and because Lego doesn't really make elastic pieces I just had to use some rubber bands that way it can strap to my face Whoa, this is kind of trippy not gonna lie it actually works like a real pair of VR headsets Wow I never thought having technology strapped to your face could be so cool I can't see anything Whoa, what the heck for this next idea, I'm gonna become a gamer bro because I'm gonna try to build a Lego gaming system. And to build it, I'm gonna start by making the two Joy-Cons with multiple buttons. Then in the very middle, I'm gonna make a blank screen. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this is still looking kind of mid. So I decided I'm gonna get rid of the black screen. And instead, I'm gonna replace it with a game of Minecraft with some landscaping, a tree, villager, Steve, a house for Steve to live in. And to make this feel even more like Minecraft, I'm gonna add a health bar and a hunger bar. Oh crap, wait, Steve, your hunger's low. Here, eat this chicken. Oh, man, that was a close call. And there we go. I think we've successfully built a Lego gaming system. Okay, so we've made technology that can go in your ears, on your face, but what about your wrist? My next idea is to make an Apple Watch. To make the strap of the watch, I'm gonna take multiple hinge pieces and link them together. Then to make the actual watch, I'm gonna make a screen using a black plate. Then I'm gonna connect a bunch of studs in different colors, and they look like apps. And once we put everything together, our Apple Watch is complete. But to really finish this watch, we need to make a stereotypical Apple Apple commercial for it. Introducing the future on your wrist. With every Apple product, we strive for better, stronger, faster. And wow, this honestly is really nice to wear. Oh yeah, my wrist looks so icy now. Oh dang, it's dripping. Another techie thing are those vacuum cleaners that crawl around on your floor. I want to attempt to make this work like one, so I'm going to use a motorized Lego piece to get a few wheels to spin and actually push this thing forward. Then I'm going to build another set of wheels, and when they rotate, this net piece will help push pieces into this small compartment. And now, it's time to see if it works. Okay, it's time for some cleaning. <laughs> What the heck? Dang, that's kind of a fat L because it didn't work like I thought it would, but after a few more tries, I did actually get some pieces. Very good. Keep cleaning. Oh, wait, stop. Whoa, whoa, stop. What if we built an Alexa? You know, those round things that you talk to. I'm gonna start by taking a bunch of plates, then using a sideways building technique to connect them all together. Then I'm gonna give it a small platform for it to sit on. And there we go, our Lego Alexa is complete and it actually looks pretty satisfying. Hey Alexa, order me some chicken nuggets. Alexa. Alexa. <sighs> Yeah, I like Siri better anyway. For this next round, I'm gonna go to a major tech store in my town and see what we can make in Lego. Ooh, what about a battery? This one should be pretty easy. I just need to make a thin cylinder out of round pieces. What about a blender? Okay, this one's gonna be more challenging because I actually want it to work like a blender. So I'm gonna put this motorized Lego piece on the bottom and on top, I'm gonna build a cup where you're supposed to put the ingredients. Okay, it's time to put this thing to the test. Let's try blending some fruit. Wow, this thing actually works like a real blender. I went ahead and also tried blending money, the AirPods I made earlier, and studs. But I ended up putting in too many. Oh shoot, it literally broke the thing. What about these refrigerators with the screen on it? Wait, what the heck is that? I'm gonna make this one minifig scale, and for the actual screen, I'm just gonna use a 2x4 tile. And there we go, now we have something to entertain our minifigs. What about a light bulb? This one's easy, I just gotta really think of an idea. 
Oh, there we go, guys. Let's go. I didn't even have to build that one. Another tech item to build is a camera, kind of like the one I'm using right now to film this video. For this one, I'm gonna start by building a rectangular body. I'm gonna add a screen and different buttons to the sides of it. And finally, I'm gonna build the lens to the camera, and I'm gonna use this clear dish piece to make it look like there's glass at the end. And there we go, our Lego camera's looking like a W. Now we just built a camera, but what about a camera that can fly? Next up on my list is a Lego drone. I'm gonna start by taking random pieces and trying to figure out a stereotypical looking body for a drone. Once I do that, I'm gonna build a camera to put on the front of the drone. Then I'm gonna build four arms that attach to the body at different angles. And at the end of each arm, I'm gonna attach a propeller. And wow, honestly, at a distance, I think this thing could actually look like a real drone. But sadly, I don't know how I'm gonna get it to fly like one. Oh crap, it hit a tree. Another techie thing are electric cars. So what if we built a Lego Tesla? They're very simple cars and they kind of look like they're from the future, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of random pieces and try to speed build this thing. Okay, and the Tesla is finished. It has a full interior that can seat two minifigs, and I also added some small details like a spoiler, door handles, and some side mirrors. But most importantly, to go with the Tesla, I'm gonna attempt to make Elon Musk as a Lego minifig. And before he can drive the car, we need to charge it, so I built this Lego charging station. So now we can juice up the Tesla, and it's ready to go. And since almost every big YouTuber seems to give away a Tesla, I'm gonna give away this Tesla to a random subscriber. So follow me on Instagram and message me that you want it, and I'm gonna pick the winner in the next video. Another popular tech item is a PlayStation 5. This one's gonna be pretty massive, so we're gonna need a lot of Lego pieces, and I'm gonna start by building the console. Okay, the way this thing is shaped is so confusing, but after a few hours of building, I think I got the right design for the panels on the side. I then went ahead and built the middle section using a sideways building technique to make it look black from the outside. And connecting everything together, the console was finished and it actually looked a lot better than I thought it would. I then went ahead and built the controller using a bunch of angled plates and tiny pieces for buttons and joysticks. And there we go, I think we've successfully built a PlayStation 5 in Lego. Okay, the final but biggest tech item I want to make is a complete gaming PC setup. This is going to be really challenging because there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to build, so I'm going to start with a gaming keyboard by making a thin base and building a bunch of colorful keys so it really looks like something you can game on. So all we have to do now is just connect them to the keyboard. Not gonna lie, this is looking kinda satisfying. Next, I'm gonna build a gaming mouse. So I used a ton of smooth pieces, that way it really looks and feels like one. Nice, I'm starting to feel like a sweaty gamer now. Now, I'm gonna build the actual gaming PC, which is gonna be super large. So I started with the box for the outside, then I built random electronics to go inside of it, like a motherboard with RAM and a GPU and two tiny fans. Finally, I'm gonna cover the side with glass, that way we can still look inside. And the PC tower is finished, and it's pretty massive. And for the last item to our setup, I'm gonna build a a single monitor using a few base plates and a bunch of tiles. But the issue is that there's currently nothing displayed and nothing we can play. So what if we ran up a quick game of Roblox? Or if we're not feeling that, maybe we can try something like Fortnite. But most importantly, we need to test the screen's durability. So like every sweaty gamer, I'm gonna rage quit and punch it. <laughs> Wow, that really didn't last very long, but thankfully it's not a real screen. And there we go. Now it is time to combine all the tech items we made in this video together. Wow, I'm surprised by how many tech items I actually made in this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. You know me up, just like the Legos. I'll never get a no, so please don't